What is happening people? It is Brian Aldridge with NeverState.com and welcome to this week's training video where it is extremely cold so we are cooped up inside and I'm actually currently sitting on top of my knee sleeves and elbow sleeves to warm them up before I put them on. Now also, due to the temperatures, the plan for this video is that I'm going to start talking to you guys here because I have a couple things I want to say and I'm just going to kind of play that out. And while I do, I'll be showing you guys some of my sets. I don't want to stop between my sets and come and talk to you guys and get cooled down. Once I start sweating at all, I don't want to catch a chill and I don't want to get injured and I don't want to freeze to death. So, pretty much the plan is I'm going to do all the talking, I'm going to do all the lifting, squunch it all together, hopefully it'll be cool. Now before I get involved in what I'm going to talk to you guys about, I want to ask you guys a question of the week and that is, when it comes to your workouts, when it comes to your main strength movement of the day, do you guys prefer sticking to the basics of the big four, the squat, the bench, the deadlift, and the overhead press, and just those things specifically, or do you guys rather prefer doing variations? Um, like instead of a regular squat, you do a front squat, or a zercher squat, or an SSB, or so, something along those lines. I want to know down in the comments what you prefer and why. Now, for me personally, I like doing more of variations of things. Uh, number one, I'm not a power builder. I know a lot of people who do perform power building need to work their squat, their bench, and their deadlift a lot, and they need to be technicians with it, and so they just go, 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 go. Now, for me, the variations are much more interesting, and I'm not an individual who can just do the same thing over and over and over again. I get bored out of my mind, and I don't want to do it anymore, and I will stop. So the variations definitely help me with that, and help keep things interesting. However, another reason why I also do it is because I've been in this game an awfully long time, and now that sickness has kind of uh, done a work on me for a couple years, as well as just a time off during the break for COVID-19, all of my PRs are definitely way out of reach right now. So it is not going to be a regular thing for me to hit a squat PR. I literally need to gain almost 200 pounds onto where my squat currently is. So that isn't really as motivating to think like, yeah, I'll be able to celebrate 200 pounds on my squat from now. Uh, however, if I do a zercher squat or a front squat or some other variation, I can often get PRs and see more progression that way. So for me personally, variation is where is that? Plus you're also working the weak points of your lifts, which hopefully when that big lift does come around, it works out a little better. But again, that is me and I am not a super beginner at this. So maybe you are and you'd rather do the regular ones or you're proud of you to do it. Anyway, let me know in the comment section down below and why. Thanks guys. All right, so the actual topic that I want to talk to you guys about today is the squat, or more specifically, two big problems that I've been having with the squat that aren't your traditional, my knees are caving in, I can't keep my body position. They're not those types of problems. These are a little bit different. So I want to talk to you guys about it, just in case maybe there's some of you out there who are having the same problems. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to attempt to fix them and uh, hopefully it'll help some of you out. So the very first kind of unconventional squat problem that I'm having is that when I took all that time off for COVID-19, I took almost five months off and prior to that, I was doing strongman every day, I was teaching strongman classes every day, so my upper back had a ridiculous amount of strength and muscle, all right? I took five months off, I came back, I have not been working out quite as hard as I was prior to this and I definitely have not been doing as much strongman movement, so my upper back has definitely suffered and has definitely shrank. It's coming back, but it is not where it used to be, and so I do not have the same shelf or like the same, I guess, foundation to where I lay the bar that I used to, and what I find that I'm doing is actually leaning over forward uh, like it's like my 10th day of squatting. So pretty much I'm coming out of the rack, and then I'm sticking my butt back because I'm afraid almost like the bar is going to slip off my back. And uh, that is not allowing me to set up the way that I do. If you guys have watched my videos for any amount of time, you will know that I lock that bar into my back. And then the last thing I do before I start my descent is flex my butt super hard to bring my hips underneath the bar. And then the first movement for the descent is actually pushing my knees out. It's not breaking at the hips. It's more similar to doing a high bar squat than a low bar squat, except I can't do that if I do not stand up straight at the beginning. So this is a problem that I've definitely been running into. So two different ways that I've been trying to resolve it. Number one is I actually added some extra back work throughout my day, uh, I'm sorry, throughout my week, and that has made a large difference as far as my size as well as my strength coming back. So hopefully the bar is able to sit a little bit more uh, where it normally does and where it feels more comfortable for me. And then secondly, I am not engaging my upper back at all. Before I unrack the bar, I'm not getting my upper rhomboid area tight, and then I'm also not using my lat lock the bar into my body. With, when I do it the way that I'm supposed to do it, 
After I walk the bar out, I'm actually pulling the bar through the front of my chest, almost like I'm trying to bend it across my back like it's a horseshoe, and the front of the bar would actually come out through like above my nipple line type of area. That's gonna engage my lats a lot more and actually meld the bar to my body, as well as keep my elbows pointed more downward instead of backwards, because your, your elbow position is going to very much control where your head position goes, and uh, it can become a mess if everything's pointing backwards. You want it pointing down and locked in. So that's definitely the first squat problem that I've been having that hopefully with a little bit of these fixes, it will get better. Uh, and I haven't done the squats yet, so hopefully they look a little better today. And the second unconventional problem that I've been having with squats is that they just feel heavy. I have zero confidence right now because the bar feels like junk on my back. And the reason why is I haven't spent enough time with heavy junk on my back that I don't have a tolerance for it right now. So much like if you jump into cold water, you have that shock and your body starts sending off all types of like emergency warning signals, same thing is happening to me right now on the squat. So I put like 455 on my back, which no offense to anyone who isn't squatting 455, or we're talking about my problems here, people, we're talking about my problems. When I put something like 455 on my back, right now it feels extremely heavy, which didn't used to be the case. Uh, my best squat of all time is right around 750 pounds, so right now, 450 feeling heavy definitely messes with my head a little bit. And if you don't have that confidence on the squat, then you almost limp into your descent. And if you do that, you don't hold nearly as tight or the position and you don't have the confidence to hit depth and explode out of that hole. So pretty much to try to uh, change that, I just need to start, heavy, start squatting heavier things more often and uh, just kind of build a tolerance to my body feeling those weights. So it's gotten substantially better. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Right after pandemic, when I took the big break, I was absolutely shocked at how weak and just 315 literally felt the way 600 pounds used to feel. Now, 600 pounds definitely feels completely unreasonable, but it's within the light of the tunnel, I guess. I had no idea what that meant. Anyway guys, I wanna to talk to you about this because sometimes it's a technique issue. Sometimes it's a breathing and bracing issue. Sometimes it's a programming issue. It can be a lot of things that are normal. However, I've been trying to work all those problems out and this squat hasn't really been improving as much as I would like it to. So basically I kind of broke it down in my head of what am I doing differently now than I was before. And it's definitely the positioning at the beginning and then the confidence that I have in the descent and everything else. So uh, I told you guys how I'm gonna try to fix it, but if you guys are struggling with anything kind of remotely close to this, remember sometimes unconventional problems take unconventional solutions. So start thinking outside the box and try different things and maybe it will work for you. So guys, I really, really do appreciate absolutely everything you guys do and I would really appreciate if you guys left down in the comment section down below the answer to the question week, which is, when it comes to your main strength movement of the day, do you guys prefer more often to just do the basic stuff? The basic squat, bench, deadlift, overhead press, or do you guys like more variation? Do you like doing push press and split jerk and Z presses for your overhead press? Um, just let me know. Let me know what you like to do and let me know why because I'm trying to come up with some new programming stuff, people, and uh, you guys are the reason why I write my programming and you guys are the reason why I'm able to do this. So I wanna know what you guys want so I can kind of push things towards what you guys are looking for. So I do thank you guys so much for absolutely everything you're doing. Thank you guys for all the support after the last video and just uh, everything. And I will catch you guys later in the week. Until I do, go out to something amazing with guys. Keep working on people, be nice to each other. I really hope these squats go well. See ya. All right, postscript. So 605 for a pause rep is a great success. I feel really, really good about that. That's just about, exactly where I expected to be, but I am beyond happy to be back in the 600s. Now, as you guys can probably tell, my back angle has gotten better than it was in previous videos, but it still has a lot to be desired, so I'm gonna continue working on those things that I talked about earlier, and I would encourage each and every single one of you to not only look at the traditional solutions to your problems, right? Most likely it's technique, a breathing and bracing, a programming, a something like that is the error, most likely, right? However, if you're pretty sure that those things are all locked in, then you need to start looking at other sources. And for me, it was literally like leverages because my body had shrunk and when it shrank, things change, right? Your leverages change. You need to figure out where to stick the bar, how you can use your legs differently, use your belly differently, use your torso at different angles. All those things change as you gain and lose body mass. So um, I'm going to try to gain more and more on my upper back so that I can be more of the athlete that I was before. But for right now, this is a really, really good spot for me to be in. So I am very happy about it. I just wanna let you guys know, uh, just kind of catch you guys back up uh, after all of this was over. So I will catch up with you later in the week. Until I do, go out and do something.
I will be catching you guys later in the week. Until I do, go out to something amazing with your lives. Keep working hard, people. Be nice to each other. I'll see you then.